HP Pre 3. It's the uh, next generation of the Pre family of WebOS based smartphones. As you can see, it's got a, a large 3.6 inch 400 by 480 by 800 uh, display. It's a gorgeous glass, Gorilla Glass screen. Looks extremely vibrant. Uh, it's a lovely, smooth, curved shaped device. Fits beautifully in the hand. It's got metallic buttons for volume, headset jack, ring of switch power, and a 5 megapixel autofocus camera and LED flash. It supports our touchstone charging technology. Um, and it also has a full size, no compromise keyboard. It's really designed as a full on 24 7 business device, but also with personal connectivity as well. It's a, it's a really no compromise, um, best of both worlds type of device. It's great for email messaging, but as well as great web browsing and, and video, watching video as well. It's got a Qualcomm 8255 processor running at 1.4 gigahertz, so it does very fast. 512 megabytes of RAM and 8, 8 or 16 gigabytes of storage. And it runs UMTS at, uh, with HSPA Plus technology at 14.4 megabits a second. As you can see, it's running the latest WebOS operating system, HP WebOS. Here's the contacts application. Here's the calendar. Email. And HP WebOS has always supported true multitasking, but we can also overlap these, what we call card view, into an activity stack. It allows me to really manage my various activities in one convenient place. And when I finish with applications, I literally throw them off the screen and that closes them down. We have a great feature called HP Synergy, which allows me to synchronize the device with multiple web-based information accounts. I can, I can sign into up to 16 exchange accounts, Facebook, multiple Facebook accounts, Google. And you can see here I can actually choose which aspects of the service I want to synchronize to the device or not. So I can turn contacts on with Facebook or not. And what that means with all of these background synchronizations here is that, um, for example, in the contacts application, what appears to be a single list of contacts is actually being synchronized from multiple sources. The number three there indicates that data is being pulled in from different data sources but presented in one clear view. I didn't mention this also has the uh, VGA front-facing camera for, uh, for video conferencing as well. You can see here in the uh, calendar application that uh, different coloured calendars represent different synchronizations. I have a shared Google Calendar with my wife. She updates from her OS device, I do from mine, and we keep that in synchronization and manage busy lives that way. So here we are in email, multiple accounts, if I open or start a draft email, that's actually opened in its own card, I can switch back and still look at my email inbox while composing multiple draft emails, so I can easily switch between them, and then when I finish with them, again I can just throw them away. And then finally we've got the great exhibition mode, which when you put the device down on the touchstone charging dock, the device can have operated in different ways, it can show a photo slideshow view, it can show me what's happening during the day with my agenda, or um, equally if it's on my nightstand it can be a nice uh, day or night view along the as well. Overall we think it's a really no compromise full business device. Um, and uh, you know we've, um, we're, we're really we think with the, between the two, the beer is very much a more of perhaps with a feature phone user who wants a, all the power of a smartphone but with more pocketability. This is for someone who wants you know, the best of both worlds.